All right, welcome back into Way 31, everyone. The high school hoop season continues to impress me here in North Alabama. I saw some packed houses tonight, but there was not a hotter ticket than the one at Lee High School tonight as Jimison made the short trip to take on the Generals. So let's head to Lee High School. Both these teams expecting to have a good year, and Lee would look impressive early. Jakari Lane going coast to coast and finishing with the left hand. Generals out in front early, but the Jags, they came to play outside for Isaiah Curry. He drills the three. Jemison going shot for shot, but again, Lee finishes at the rim. Naaman Hobson says, give me that and give me two more. Nice play from the underclassmen. Jemison respond again, though. Nice pass inside for Ty Hayes. He gets the basket to drop with the foul. I told you it was back and forth in the end, though. It's Lee who outlasts the Jags 52-51. What a game. At James Clements tonight, the Jets were in action against Madison Academy in a crosstown matchup, and the, this Jets team had it going tonight around the horn to Simon Walker. He drills the court corner three to take the first lead of the game, but he wouldn't stop there. Walker again from range. Cash. The Jets would jump out to a big lead in this one, and they would add to it this time. A triple from the top of the key as the Jets would open this game with 11 unanswered points. The Mustangs, they get something going out of a timeout, but in the end, it was James Clemens who comes out on top in this one, 63-51. That early run turned out to be the difference in that one. Over at Columbia, they were holding their homecoming after it was canceled due to COVID during the football season. Glad they got it in. And they were taking on Gunnersville, who came out of halftime on fire. Nice finish there from Brandon Fussell, but Columbia would strike back on the other end. Keyshawn Watkins spots up from the corner, gets that one to go. And then he would drive in to add two more. He'd finish with 21 points tonight. But in the end, it's Gunnersville who comes from behind to win 73 to 64 after Kurt Blanchard added 19 for the Wildcats. Let's turn our attention to the girls basketball court. The Lady Jags in action tonight at Lee and the Jags trying to get something going. Nice bucket from Kayla Richardson. But Lee came to play tonight in front of the home crowd. Nice pass inside the Generals. Get one to go from the elbow. Big night as well for Lamaya Batimba. She gets one to go here for the Generals as they run away with this one at home 76 to 49.